redhead? Like a low key redhead? Mm, a little. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Brothers. Some people say I am, but then I'm like, I don't feel like I am. Why is Dan's tag Blood Rush? Does that have something to do with uh, team fight tactics? I have no idea. I don't know. I don't, I've never seen that tag. I don't. Not, I do not play League of Legends. <laughs> well, team fight tactics in League of Legends are completely different. Are they? It's facts. It's facts. You know what else is facts? Starting on Pokemon State. Dan's still here after losing pretty early. Yeah, he lost to uh, Neo in like winner's round five or something like that, right before quarters. Right. Yeah, before. The match right before quarters, Dan lost. So Whoop! he had to run through at least five or six sets, I think. I think five to get here. Yeah, that's a long run. Not not quite comparable to Seabass's run on Wednesday, but still a long one. I, He's dead. Yeah, He's dead. I don't know what that up B was. Maybe a misinput or something. I don't know. I don't know what it could have been. Dan, Dan not too thrilled with that one, so I think something is not currently correct with uh, with what happened. Yeah, uh, was I was actually peeping at uh, Raven King says get here. Uh, he was looking pretty clean when he fought Jimbo Slice in the loser's quarters. Hit him with a clean forward smash to pull edge. Who Raven King did? Yeah. Okay, okay. So he's feeling his he's feeling his smash attacks right now. Seems to be the case. Yeah, he pulled like three of them out against Frosty when I played, and he doesn't normally do that. But like I said, when I watched them play, he, he told me like not like that, like not too long ago. He's kind of said like sometimes you just gotta do it because like after you do it, if they can't kill you immediately, it's technically safe. You know what? That's true. And that's all that really matters. Like these high percents here. Like if they can't kill <laughs> you right away, I don't know what it is, man. Raven King's playing different today. Raven King's gameplay is is not his normal joint. You know what? It looks like he's playing Smash Four like right now. No, 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 no. It's look, look at that. That is not a Raven King move. No, he he's just throwing out these strong moves, kill moves. Just, like, he just he just slowly. I'm not gonna do the meme, but he just up tilted. Like, I mean, why? Like, he's got some something figured out on Dan right now for sure. That was the most delayed counter I've ever seen. Yeah, that was really late. Come on. 69 post hit? Yeah, that's a strong move. It's a strong forward smash. My man hit him with the the Ike Doria. That's Come on now. The original Doria. The right original. There. Three stock to open up game number one here. He's got something figured out, dude. That killed stupid early. Was something wrong with Dan? I, I think Dan might. Oh, yep, yep. Maybe he, there was something. I knew it. I knew something was off. That or he's crazy. I guess Dan's crazy. Did he change anything? No, he didn't change no, anything. Didn't change anything. Also, Dan plays with Smash Stick. Yes. Interesting. Always. You have you play the Mario Bros with Smash Stick. Truly. Because you can just. Well, I mean, it, I don't know if it's the same in Ultimate, but I know in Smash Four, uh, BB Smash did that whole thing about it, where you it's literally impossible to just react to Mario's forward smash. Yeah. It's like literally impossible. You cannot react to it. Oh, so if you just like hit the flick the C stick, so if you just like literally pull it out, unless they're like preemptively doing something, like, you will hit them. You know and what? So that was a trait. I think it's just a trait he carried over. You know what? That makes a lot more sense just because I've seen Dan forward smash so much yeah. in this game. And up smash. Yeah, up, up smash definitely. But I've seen forward smash a lot. Yes. Like I saw him during his set with Neo, he was going for a lot of it. Okay, something was definitely wrong. Um, they're, going, they're calling for a button check right here. Well, it looks like Dan's pulling out a backup controller, actually. Yeah, I wonder what... Very interesting. Nothing looked too bad about that. I mean, obviously he got destroyed, but like nothing looked like like a drastic mission besides the uppie. Yeah, besides that uppie. You're right. That uppie was really, really weird. All right, he plugged in the other controller, it looks like. And it looks like he's happy with it. He's wrapping up his other one, putting it away. Oh, you know what really sucks? I guarantee you he was using his Nintendo Club controller. Yeah. That I, Mario one where yeah, it was like... I saw he was using the red controller. Yeah, that, that red controller. It's like this this custom, like, special edition controller that you only got from, like, the Nintendo Club or something like that. Like, like years ago when the GameCube was, like, at its, at its peak before the Wii came out. And, yeah. like, it's this blue and red... Uh, controller that has Mario's logo on the front. Yeah. And like, so when they re release GameCube controllers, they re release those like really garbage, like third party, like Link and Donkey Kong ones, and they yeah. have the emblem. And like, th those are trash. But this is like an, an OEM GameCube controller that has a really sick paint job. So if that controller just broke on him, I actually feel really bad because that sucks. That would actually be really awful. I feel like Dan, 
It's just, I feel like it, he would just have added to his collection at that point if it's broken. Well, I mean, there's a lot of really talented people in Chicago, especially in Chicagoland Melee that can yeah. fix controllers. So I'm sure he could find someone to take care of it real easy. But either way, man, he's finally got a good controller in his hands. Let's see if that changes anything on Smashville here in Game 2. Yeah, Game 1 looked like probably the most... That was the hardest I've ever seen anyone dominate Dan ever. Like, that was really dominant by Raven King. But right here, game number two is already set having a different tone. With uh, Dan having the lead here, looking for, looking to try and find his way in through Raven King's uh, disjoints right here. He's looking for a grab maybe. Uh, I thought that was going to be a down air. This yep. does look a little bit different of a game too. Yeah. The, like I said, the only thing that looked really weird there at game one was the upbeat, but I guess Dan is feeling something different with his controller than what yeah. he's inputting. Because right now it's looking different, but oh, not the hitbox up there he wanted to get. Ah, the UFOs in the background. Oh my god. That's where they're going. They're going to Area 51. Dude. Dude. Dude, Dan. Dan's definitely a Kyle. For sure. Dan is a Kyle fueled by Monster. Absolutely. Right here. Like I said, the forward smash. Dan does it a lot. And the dash attack. Maybe yep. he does that a lot. He does do that a lot. He does forward tilt a lot, too. Matata and I were talking about that. He's living here. But he just, like, gently grabbed it. He's like, thank you for the assistance. Yeah, the, that flood did not do much right there for Dan. As, as, long as, you don't, as long as you know the flood's coming and you don't pick a panic option, like a panic up there, Ra if Raven King didn't, uh, you're fine in that situation. As I, just make sure you don't preemptively use your special moves. True. Like right there, he stalled the quick draw. Sneaking in under that fireball button. Right there, not the height he wanted to get right there for the ether. That was very odd because when he threw the sword up, it like pineappled itself under the stage and then Ike himself slid up. And yeah, it wasn't the height that he wanted, but that whole interaction was really odd. Like I've never seen that before. That was pretty strange. I just thought uh, it would act a little differently. Oh, he actually gets it. Dan is usually pretty good at avoiding that eruption. Well, it was last week, I think you and me were commentating. Yeah. And Dan kept like up being into Raven King and like getting that timing. And, and like it, he was untouchable, but I don't know, man. This is a different Raven King, I promise you. This is like a, a whole new guy. Right, yeah, right now he's been playing on another level today. Uh, in losers from a very close loss to Frosty, who's also playing pretty well today, obviously sitting yes. in Grand's winners. I feel like everyone's just on their A game today. It's good to see. Maybe it it's to see, maybe it's a Dan Dan had a bit of a slow start, obviously with the early loss, but he seems to turn it up a bit. All right, going for the grab. He's probably going to back on him off stage. Look for the ledge guard here. Where's his jump? Yep, that was actually incredible. Yeah, that was a bit of an unwise air dodge there from Raven King, and Dan is going to snipe it out very easily. So I guess the controller change might have helped him out there. I think it absolutely did. I'm not sure exactly what the problem was. We'll find out later tonight. I'm sure Dan already, or he will be tweeting about it later or something, but... As of right now, man, we're going into game three in this best of five sets. All right, Ike and Mario are here. Oh, they're both here to stay. I've not seen a stage pick, but I imagine there are platforms involved. Hmm, not the platforms I thought I would see. Town and city. Uh, yeah, this is really interesting. Um, I think this is, it has to be a personal choice, like a personal preference here for Raven King. Well, I guess, uh, well, realistically, you don't want to give Mario tri -class, right? Yeah. So, those two stages did not get banned. Uh, unless Dan hates slants for some reason. I don't know. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, this is probably realistic as to where we'd be ending up here. Yeah, I'm not sure, because uh, one of the pros of this stage is that it has a, well, it has a platform layout, but it also has a lot of room to run around it being a fairly big stage. Yes. Along with fairly big bat zones, Raven King is not really playing a character who you'd expect to be using a lot of movement tools. Like Ike's a pretty sluggish guy. Yeah. Yeah, but when I mean, with all this real estate, like, I, I, you know what it is. Never mind. I have no clue what it is, man. This has to be a personal choice, and I'm not in Ryan's head, so I'm not entirely sure what the choice is. Also. Here. Raven King was an inch, like probably a frame away from dying right there, but that up tilt stuffed out Dan's forward smash. He <laughs> barely could have found his way on the platform. I feel like Dan fireballed him as like a courtesy. Like Dan with the 0.1% lead and choosing not to approach. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he's, he's behind 0.1%. Oh, never mind. Yeah, right. yeah. 
Dan, you gotta approach him. You're you gotta approach, man. This is a, this is, this is a huge lead that Raven King has. Raven King should be backing off at all costs. I hear neither of them are approaching that situation. Dan taking the percent lead through pummels alone. That and there it is. Might have been the strangest interaction to ever occur here at loser semifinals at a try point. <laughs> That's so specific. <laughs> Well, you know what? That's why I'm so confident in saying it. <laughs> <laughs> Falling up air takes stand stock, and we're back to an even game. All right. Bow, 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 the perfectly spaced bow, bow. neutral airs here from Ravy King. All right, going for a down air. Not going to find any extensions off it. Someone in that grab, I like that. Someone is really excited for Dan here. Yeah, I hear that too. I don't know what it is. <laughs> a lot of goofy people down there in the venue. Nair to the back air. Oh, is he gonna go for the Raven King? Oh. That was pretty much the Raven King. Forward tilt at the ledge. Nah, the Raven King is uh, Nair grab ledge to ledge jump back air. That's what Ryuga says the Raven King is. Right, whoever's screaming needs to stop. Normally, ordinarily, I would say that's Chucky, but Chucky's not here. Exactly. I'm like, who could that pause? Abe? Is that Abe? It might no, be Abe. No, no. It's only Abe if Abe's drunk. Which he might be. I don't know. Maybe it's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, who knows? Oh my lord. I'm. I hope. I don't know if Stream can hear that. But that is, a, that is a lot. That's extra. Oh. oh, oh. Right, nope. Gonna make it back. Nope. Ravy King. Look at Ravy King's face. He was definitely like. Make it! <laughs> Ten stuff. There it is. The, the Dan Forward Smash. There it is. Patented. Yeah, I mean, I think that controller switch definitely had something to do about something. All right, Dan, uh, Raven Team looking for the back air here. I don't know if we really left the seal stock from center stage, but Dan's looking very clean. Oh, falling down there, not the option I would expect him to go for. And the Town City counter pick not paying off there, the high ceiling. Maybe that Ether would have killed on a different stage, but. He's gonna find a forward air, gonna kill, but still 54% here, so nothing to sneeze at. Up there, up there, Nair. Oh, he was expecting him to fastball that. What? Look, he got hit by the single hit of OP. And, and we like that sometimes, right? That's that one point. That's the Luigi stuff. That, that is Luigi stuff. All right. Starting with the patent, I combos down throw up air, bread and butter. All right, Raven King definitely bring this back. This is Ike. We have talking about. Yup. Oh, this Long. is Mario though. Same time. Yeah. This stage might make it a bit harder though. It makes me question why he chose it again. Oh uh, no! Uh, Raven King knew as soon as he got grabbed. Raven King went for F tilt there when he's been pulling trigger on F smash, and it killed it like 69 post hit. I know the blast zones are a little bit bigger, but like. That might have been worth it there. Maybe actually that might have been what he was trying to do with that F tilt. I don't know. Maybe that was a misinput. Probably something like that. That would have been crazy. If you'd have pulled the trigger and hit that, that might have killed. Yeah, if he had hit that neutral air, that platform air definitely would have killed. But Dan saw that from a mile away. That's it's pretty uh as soon as he went towards that platform, it was pretty obvious it's just a shield. It'll be alright. Sure, yeah. And he was not in a position where he'd be able to space it very well. Just because he was approaching Dan. So uh, he was very desperate for the kill there. Which I, I can't blame him from the depths that he was at. But I feel like he had to play a bit more patiently there, find his opening a bit more naturally. Because he really tried to force it there. But it was close though. It was very close and very scary. That's probably why I'm running it right back. We're going immediately back. With bread and butter, that's going to be a down throw and an up air. The quick 20% 20, 20 for Mike. Throwing out that up B again. Raven King does that, certainly does that a lot. Uh, it's a good move. Uh, doesn't do as much damage as Krom's up out of shield, but it still has that super armor property that makes it a very good out of shield option. All right, DI a little off on the, combo DI a little off on the down for there. If you want to be di out some more, you can't get too much from extension. I feel part. like combo DI just at large is DI out. Yeah, for the most part. Like, that's a pretty safe universal thing. Like, if you're not a lab monster, I feel like that your safe bet is like you just di out combos, except for throws. Yeah. Don't don't di, don't di out kill moves. Yeah. Just combo di is out. Good. Up smash going. Take it. The big ol' noggin coming in from the end. The noggin. Pounded noggin, dude. 
there. Up there, not gonna quite take it. Do you know, does Ike have any, like, stronger points on his sword? No. It, it's, it, it's all the same? Yeah, it's the same throughout the entire sword. Okay. Uh, Takuma and I were talking about that before you got on, and we did not know the answer to that. That's why I like you, LeMay. You just know stuff. I do know stuff. You know I stuff. have the Leme stats. Don't ask. Leme stats. Don't ask about the Leme stats. Do I know about the Leme stats? You should be seeding super majors. I'm God. I'm God, baby. I thought about it, but then I'm like, I don't want to. I don't want to face that kind of that kind of pressure. You would, because you're good at it. Thank you. Ryan going all the way up to the top after that down air. There it is. Sports smash. He got out of dodge. There we go, Nair back air right there. Apparently that's called the sham wow. The sham wow? Yeah, Nair back air. That's what Chucky calls it. He said because Ike's sword looks like a like a towel when he's swinging it. That's not, oh my god. Raven King getting away. With yeah, he kind of got away with murder there. He should have died. Oh, the roll, the roll behind back throw. The smash four classic. <laughs> we call that the Walmart suicide because you rolled back. <laughs> you like that? I do like that. Thank you. Throwing out these nares, like they're safe. Yeah, starting to get a little antsy with the nares. Some of them are becoming a bit less safe. Does Raven King even SDI grab? Or DI, like, mash at all? Does he? Uh, no, he is. Get, he is letting himself get pummeled a lot. He that, did. That was like 10 pummels. Yeah. And remember, moves, when they hit shield in this game, they do stale, which is different from past smash game. So the more yes. he, the more he, he nares Dan's shield, the less safe it's going to become. So he has to remember that. Maybe Dan knows that. Maybe he's using that to his advantage. I have to imagine. Maybe he's sitting there like, yes, there my shield. Good DI. Yeah, right there. Just as long as he didn't DI straight up, he should have been fine. Right. None of that salad DI. That salad DI, bro. <laughs> he's going crazy on the DI. Alright, just Nair. Yeah, just, <laughs> just well done. Your safest move. You did it, Dan. <laughs> but I have an air too. I can do that too. Mine's faster though. There, there. Oh, he was trying to land on that platform. He didn't get it. Uh, that that controller change must have worked some magic there. Because game one, I have to remind the viewers, game one was Raven King winning with a free stock. Yeah. And game two and three and four have been uh, completely different stories. All right, right here. Raven King can definitely bring this back though. This is starting to look a little scary as long as he doesn't get grabbed or up smashed. Oh no. These are the scary percents. Oh my goodness. Raven King went off stage expecting the dash guard. Is this going to do it? Oh, another stall right there from Dan with the cape. Going to save him from the eruption. Raven King landing another Nair on the shield there. Back, back throw. Oh, oh, DI mix ups. DI mix ups right there. Going for another edge guard. Oh my goodness. This is this all of a sudden became very tense. Four throw. Ah! Oh, the DI. That oh, should be it. He's dead. Where are you at? He drifted so far in the four tilt. Is that going to do it? <laughs> Raven King. Bro, he cut his chin clean off. That'll say, yeah. That'll kill a man right there. Raven King kneeling his head back. Amazed how he got away with winning that game. Yeah, no, that was. <laughs> I'm not sure why Dan went for like the far grab there. Like, pretty much like anything should have killed there. Like, like dash attack might have been a suspect there. Yeah, honestly, I thought dash attack might have done it. Uh, maybe not just because Ike's a bit heavier. Not Peach. You don't play that character. Yeah, no one, no one really, except except Faith. That, uh, him and Richard are like the only Peaches you have. Yeah, or Toad. But Toad, Toad doesn't go to anything. He hasn't been going to Ignite more. Just Toad, if you're watching. Is that Perry? Dan said, run it back. I should have won that game. He said right back. Running right. This is the third game in a row on Town of City. Let's see. Looking like Smash 4 again. We love that stage in that game. We did. It's bad in Smash Bros, man. It was like the only two stages in that game. Honestly, sometimes it felt like that. Right Ryan now. hiding up here at this platform. Ooh, the mix up. Landing on stage to smack Dan in the face with this falling sword. Turns it around with a sham. Wow, pulls the eruption trigger early. Um, probably was like, this is a bad idea, abort, and stop doing it. Again, uh, yeah, hey, Dan heard us. Dash attack after yeah, that. Yeah, dash there attack. Go. That was the very weakest hit, dash attack. Raven King going almost nowhere. Yeah, the drift on quick draw is surprisingly far. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah, and it has like no landing lag either. 
yeah, it's it's like pretty safe if you can go the distance there. Like Mulan. Sneaking through that flood, making it back to stage, and actually this is panning out pretty well for him. He drops down with oh, the, and counter. the counter. That is the first counter Raven King's thrown out. That was the I mean like that was the most optimal thing that anybody could have done there. Good stuff right there, Raven King. Also, I'm mistaken. He did use a counter at game number one, but I meant first counter the edge guard rather. That's the first time he tried it, and it paid out for him. And now he's extending this lead as far as he can. This is looking really good for his tournament life here. If he wins this, he'll be playing off against Salad. And I was talking to Salad earlier. Salad said, as long as I don't, I feel like I can do well this tournament, as long as I don't have to fight Raven King. Yeah. And well, here's Raven King. Here coming, he is. Coming to threaten oh, Salad. Oh, Lord, he coming. <laughs> he is coming. Ike is coming with that neutral air. And I think one more of those at the perfect spacing here might take the stock. Maybe not, just because we're on Town City. Back airs, man. My man's got Tims for days. He hit him right there with the, tim, the single Tim. The single Tim. The singular. That's... Oh. Raven King likes to remind people, Ike has Falcon down there. True. He yeah. tweeted that out the other day. <laughs> oh, oh, no! Raven right. King throwing his head down. This game's even. One Nair, it's even. Raven King not happy with how that played out. Dan's just shielding a lot because he knows the Nairs are coming. Now is the time to grab. That forward tilt pushed him out of the range of the up tilt. Congratulations, you played yourself. We have some genius, high-level plays right here from both players, from Dan especially. Look at this. He, he is, never mind, a forward tilt. A skirt. <laughs> Scraped him right there. Didn't cut his chin off this time. Yeah, that hurt. That, that kill cam last game hurt. Good DI to get out of that second up air though. I like that combo DI. Dangerous position right here for Ryo King. You do not want to be off stage against oh. Mario as Ike. <laughs> he just snuck in the down tilt there. He said, eh. All right, Raven King looking to find any opening. Is he dead? Is that it? Oh, oh my God, in. we bouncing the DI into the stage. Can you SDI the the zoom ins? Uh, I Wait, assume does that give you, you can. Extra time to SDI. But single hit moves are not are barely SDIable in this sure. game. So. Oh man, this is this is terrifying here. Does he mash? That's so many pummels, like so many. Oh, watch out, Dan. Oh, and the up smash. And the hugs. And the hugs, hugs for the boys. Hugs all around. Dan. That is going to be Raven King taking fourth place today.